Hi everybody, it's Mary Ellen from Create With Me and we're here in the Creativity Nest for another episode of Teach Me Tuesday. It's Tuesday, March 15th, the Ides of March. Um, so it's very exciting and you probably think I'm going to do some kind of St. Patrick's thing, but I'm going to actually surprise you today. So we're going to talk about the um, suite of products called Heart and Home. And I'm going to just take you right to my desk. We'll just start right here. And it is on page 58 and 59 of the January through June mini catalog. And I love this suite of products. The colors are so soft and and um, pretty. And there are so many pretty elements to it. But, you know, sometimes you just need a card quick and easy and sometimes we think oh I don't want to sit down at my desk and I want to do all the stamping and coloring and I want to show you how you can throw together and I when I say throw I mean you know create some beautiful cards using something called memories and more we haven't really talked about that much but in this suite of products there is a couple things that we're going to focus on and they're right here on page 59 one is the hearts and home memories and more um, card pack which comes with um, cards and stickers and all kinds of things and then there is the heart and home memories and more cards and envelopes and each of those products are ten dollars each and let me just show them to you firsthand so I have them here and what you get in the um, cards and envelopes is you get um, 20 envelopes you get a full size well it's actually bigger than a full size these are four by six and then you get some envelopes that are small like three by five and then you get um, coordinating cards that fold in half so little note cards and then full size cards that are pre-scored for you so that that is the um, cards and envelopes so you can make 20 cards and envelopes um, if you bought both of these products, they'd be $20, so they'd only be a dollar each. And let me show you the uh, Memories and More card pack. So you get these small, smaller 3x4 um, cards, and there's just an assortment. I'm just going to kind of lay them out for you, um, just so you can see. They're very pretty. They're great for um, not only card making, but scrapbooking. If you're a scrapbooker, um, these are fantastic for your journaling um, some of your um, different scrapbooking layouts and then um, here you can use it for your journaling your goals and then you can there's plenty to use for your card making so the variety um, coordinates with the um, paper and the stamp sets that are in this pack I'm just going to keep showing you all the different cards that are in here so um, there's so many and I'm showing you I've got them turned so you can see both sides there's two of each one so it would be um, just like this and then I've I've so you could have one for scrapbooking one for cards if you prefer so there is all of those okay there's the small cards and then you get big cards okay and they're gorgeous too. There's not as many of them, but wouldn't this be fantastic for your scrapbook pages? Just like using designer series paper. So, so pretty. That would be so gorgeous on a scrapbook page. Okay, so you get the cards, two different sizes, and then you get these sheets of uh, labels or stickers. They are sticky. And, um, I want to use these to put together um, some quick and easy cards. Um, so I'm going to pull out one of each of these and I'm going to set the rest of this aside. Okay, so I want to show you how easy it is to put together some cards, um, one of each size, just using some of the ribbon that's in the suite, some of the, um, these are the classic matte dots, they're in that suite. So I pulled out one large card and envelope and then I pulled out um, one of the small ones and then I pulled out a card so um, I'm going to show you how quick it is to put these together but before I do that I want to show you the two stamp sets that come in this collection the sweet collection so there's honeybee home and blessings at home and these could be easily used on your cards if you wanted to do a little bit of stamping but you do not need to so I pulled out this card here that says beautiful day but I want to make this into a little note card um, just a little happy birthday card so I pulled out the card um, 
a little note card and I'm going to score it like so. And then this is how easy it is. for I could sit down and make a card. I'm going to a birthday party and I'd like to have a little card to go with my gift. So I'm going to just put on some dimensionals. Okay, just like so. Let me take that off. Then I'm going to add that to my card base. So cute. And then I want to add a happy birthday. And I'm going to add, oh gosh, let me see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this little piece here to cover up the um, one that's on there. I'm going to add a happy birthday. I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to trim that off just like that. Then of course I want to add a few of the um, classic dots. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at it. I think I'm just going to go with white. Okay, and I'm just going to add a couple. I like to do them in threes. And add one of the larger ones down here. I always this you see me do this before. I'm always like da la la. Where do I want it? I actually I think I'm gonna go up here. I think I just like it like this. So here I've got that. That took me what a minute to put together a little birthday card. I feel very good about that. I can use my stamps then if I want to stamp the inside of my card. But now I've got a beautiful card in a beautiful envelope to go along with my gift. So so cute. Now let's go ahead and go over to the large card, which are four by six. So you might think, oh, four by six, you know, that's a little more intimidating. But we're gonna do that this um, in the landscape mode. And we are going to um, put this card on just like that. We're gonna use a little bit of ribbon. So I'm just designing this as I go, just as if I was sitting down at my desk and putting this together. Gonna bring in my big ribbon shears and I'm just gonna tie a knot with my denim ribbon. Okay, just like so. All right, and I'm gonna do a little trimming. Okay, so now I can pop that up on my card base. And I like, I love to use dimensionals. Just like this. And then we're gonna finish this card out quick and easy. No stamping needed. Okay, and this card is one that I am sending to someone to tell them, let's see, let me see what my options are. I'm gonna tell them that, um, I'm just gonna say this is for you. So I think what I'm gonna do is I want to use this here, but I wanna pop this up. And so I'm gonna show you a little trick. <coughs> you may not know this, but I wanna get the sticky off of that. So if you have one of these laying around, a little embossing buddy from the past, then you can use your embossing buddy, this little rosin bag, to um, get the sticky off. The other thing you can do, I was showing my daughter this this morning and she said, she says, I didn't know you could do that. I said, yeah, it takes the sticky right off. The other thing you could do is a little cornstarch if you have a little cornstarch. So that is no longer sticky. That's taking that sticky off. Because what I want to do is I want to use my, um, I'm going to get all that off my desk. I want to use my dimensionals to pop that up right over my ribbon. And if I had it all sticky, then it would just be sticking down all over the place. So I didn't want to do that. I'm going to do that just like that. And then, uh, let's see, I said I was going to do a For You card. I think I still will. And I'm going to, since I'm going to put it right here, and I just, some of, I just want a little, because I want to put a dimensional on this side. But I want, I want to keep the sticky on the other side so that I can um, stick it to this. So really, there's not a lot that I'd have to do to that, but I want to add one of these adorable bees. 
and I want one that is going towards my flowers, just like that. Okay, and I'm looking to see if there's anything else that could be good on here. I kind of like it just the way it is, but I think I'm going to add um, some black um, gems to this. Whoops, that one just flipped over. It always says that when you're on camera, so I'll just pick up another one. And I'll work, I'll mess with that later. And then one big one right down here. And there's my card. I'll finish it off. I'm going to move that out of the way. Finish it off with a really, really pretty envelope. So it just takes a couple minutes. You can put together really, really cute cards using Memories of More. Just like that. They're so gorgeous. Um, I hope you really enjoyed that. I hope it maybe showed you a different side of um, using these products. Because sometimes I think that they're just undervalued. I don't think people realize that. I can buy these two products, um, 20 cards and envelopes, and 20, or, or for $10, another set of just um, the Memories and More cards, and quickly put together. I could sit down at my desk and put them all together in probably under an hour, or I could just do it as I wanted them, as I needed them for something, and um, that's super cute. I mean, I, I would not, I would not, um, say no to that card. That's just a beautiful card right there. They're just, they turned out, they turn out so, so cute with just minimal effort. I'm going to pull that other one out. So here's the, here's the other one. So here's the two Memories and More um, cards using the kits. Um, super, super simple to put together and quick and easy. So I hope that you really enjoyed that. If you want to pick yours up, um, I've got my host code on there. And if you use that host code in the month of March, I'll send you a six uh, card tutorial in your inbox. So you guys have a great day. It's good to see you. Bye.